Let's put all the components of UDU together in one giant final regalia problem. So here we go. We've got the integral from 0 to 1 of x plus 1 times z to the x squared plus 2x dx. Again, when we have e to the stuff, the derivative of that is going to be e to the stuff times the derivative of that stuff. And there's no other e to the stuff around here. So e is not going to be in my function. Likewise, when I take the derivative of x plus 1, I get 1. Well, that's not going to help me at all. However, if I take the derivative of x squared plus 2x, I wind up with 2x plus 2. Well, I have an x plus 1 here, so maybe I can do something with that in the future. Let's, let's just try it out, though. Here, let's try u is x squared plus 2x. That means that du is equal to 2x plus 2 quantity dx. The quantity is because the dx comes after the entire integrand. Now, I don't have a 2x plus 2. I have an x plus 1, which I can easily get by factoring out a 2. So du is equal to 2 times x plus 1 dx. Now again, I don't have a 2 anywhere around here, so I could divide everything by 2, yielding 1 half du is equal to quantity x plus 1 dx. Well, I have an x plus 1 dx, so I'll substitute in 1 half du for that x plus 1 dx. And let's do that right now. So we've got e to the u. We've got the integral. We've got the e to the u. We've also got the 1 half du replacing x plus 1 dx. So I'll multiply this by 1 half du. And we can also change our limits of integration because we're in terms of u right now. So we could alter our limits of integration to accommodate that new u axis. To do that, we plug in the lower limit and the upper limit into x, and we solve for u. So we'll plug 0 in. 0 squared plus 2 times 0 is still 0. And now we'll plug 1 in. 1 squared plus 2 times 1 is 3. So we're going from 0 to 3 now. We can use constant rule to pull out the 1 half. So we have 1 half times the integral from 0 to 3 of e to the u du. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. So this is 1 half times quantity e to the u from 0 to 3. This is 1 half quantity e cubed minus e to the 0. e to the 0 is just 1. So I can rewrite this as e cubed minus 1 all over 2. And that is the answer to this problem right here.